Round 11 at the KC Stadium. Inconsistent Hull FC hosting Wakefield Wildcats without a win since the middle of March. It was the Black and Whites who struck first. Hooker Danny Houghton exchanging passes with Josh Bowden to score the first try of the game. The second FC score came on the back of some great work by Aaron Heremaya. Breaching the Wakefield defensive line, Jordan Rankin in support, and Hull FC leading in the game 12 points to nil as the half time hooter went. Things started to get feisty in the second 40, but once again it was the Black and Whites who breached the Wakefield defence first. A flowing move through numerous pairs of hands, including Thompson and Rankin, found its way eventually to Ben Crooks. 16-0 Hull FC led and looked comfortable. The Wildcats were on a run of six defeats, but had last weekend off due to Challenge Cup elimination. Captain Danny Kermond had a hand in their first try of the game, Richard Mathers touching the ball down, the fullback scoring Trinity's first try. Both sides' frustration boiled over. A bit of a kiss and a cuddle between Jason Crooks and Chris Riley led to both men spending 10 minutes in the sin bin. Wakefield's second try was all about brute force. Daniel Smith crossing to hand the Wildcats a real lifeline. It wasn't until the third score that Wakefield really started to believe. Former early bird Danny Washbrook setting Lucas Walshaw away, showing good strength to score in the corner. Paul Sykes once again involved, good work too from Danny Washbrook and the enigma Jared Samet able to score the match winning try. Paul Sykes is another Super League player who likes a drop goal. He scored two crucial ones against Hull Kingston Rovers and St Helens a couple of seasons ago. That one just dotted the I's and crossed the T's on the win. Hull FC 16, Wakefield Trinity Wildcats 23.